How's it going guys? I am Connor from Running Warehouse. And this is Brandon with Believe in the Run. And today we are going to be taking a look at a few of our favorite carbon plated racers, super shoes built specifically with low stack heights. In recent times, we've really been seeing shoes get higher and higher. We see world records go down and pretty much every elite marathoner is wearing a shoe very close to 40 millimeters, but now it's 2023. We got lots of options and sometimes something a little bit closer to the ground, a little bit lighter, a little bit more nimble, can have a really good application come race day or workout day. In front of us, we've got about five shoes that we're gonna go into. Brandon, start us off with your first shoe. Yeah, so this is the Nike Streak Fly. Um, it is Nike's attempt, first attempt at the 5K, 10K, uh, and it's got this nice Zoom X midsole, and it has a uh, plastic shank in here as well. Uh, how did you feel about running this shoe and kind of what was your experience? Yeah, you know, I think the Shriek Fly was a great first attempt. I love the Vapor Fly. I think when you have this shoe a little bit closer to the ground, a little bit more flexible, it did a good job. And I think the Zoom X, well, maybe not quite as soft and explosive as what you feel on the Vapor Fly, I still feel like it does a really good job. I've been using this mostly for workout day, but I think also with the versatility of the outsole, it did great for some cross country racing as well. Yeah, definitely. I felt that this shoe was just, it was so light and airy on the foot and you can just really rip in it and you can turn over super, super fast. I think one of the things about the shoe that I really loved the most is how soft it was. I mean, you, you're telling me it's not as soft as the Vaporfly, but out of the 5K, 10K range of shoes that we have in front of us, I would consider this probably the softest uh, of the models that I've tested and tried out. Yeah, I'd agree. I think it is probably the softest of what we have here on the table. And part of that is mm -hmm. it doesn't have that true carbon plated shoe, unlike shoe number two. What do we have? This is the New Balance SC Pacer. It's got some fuel cell uh, midsole, and then it's got the Energy Arc system with a full carbon plate as well. Yeah, and I feel like fuel cell, what we saw in shoes like the SC Elite, uh, the SC Trainer, it's known as a really soft and responsive foam. And I think here with the little bit lower profile design, having that carbon plate really close to the shoe, it feels just a little bit firmer. It does, it definitely feels a little bit firmer. And I think that's because you're feeling that carbon plate uh, and the Energy Arc system while you're going through your stride. I also think one thing to note is that a lot of these shoes, I think in the 5K, 10K round, especially because they're cornering and you're changing paces a lot, upper really matters and uh, lockdown really matters. And you've really just got this like airy, this really airy upper and it's just kind of, it's really breathable and it's really nice and it locks down over the foot, but I just didn't think it succeeded and did quite as well as the Streak Fly did, in my opinion, in terms of lockdown in the upper. And I think that's just one area that I, I hope that New Balance kind of tunes up in the future. Yeah, and I think one other thing to note with this shoe, with that carbon plate is, it's probably gonna be the stiffest and most aggressive of the shoes out here. So if you're looking for that true, aggressive, fast, almost a little bit more of that like track spike, mm -hmm. um, carbon plated feel, I think the SC Pacer does a good job. Yeah, I agree. So moving on, shoe number three, Adidas coming in hot. We saw the Adios Pro on the marathon side. What do we have here? Yeah, so this is the Adidas Takumi Sen 9. This is arguably my favorite of the 5K, 10K shoes that I've worn. It's got Light Strike Pro midsole and it's got those plastic energy rods. And it's just kind of interesting to see that like everyone's done a different take for what they want to integrate into their midsole. So you've got, you know, for Nike, they put the plastic shank in there. And then for New Balance, they've got a full carbon plate with an energy arc system. And then for this one, they've got the TPU rods. It's just really nice and interesting to see that all these different brands are trying different things and being creative with this 5K, 10K line to figure out what makes the most sense. Yeah, and while this is a lower stack height than the Audios Pro 3, I do feel like it maybe has just a little bit more stack than some of the other shoes. So I almost felt like I could take this shoe for upwards of a half marathon. I think it will still do well, but the geometries of the shoe are pretty aggressive and it feels fast enough for 5K, 10K, really any sort of speed day. Yeah, this definitely isn't as soft as say the Streak Fly, but it's really snappy and quick off the toe. I was really impressed when I was doing workouts in this shoe. I still do workouts in this shoe now, and it's just one of those shoes that I know I can rely on, whether it be race day or workout day. So these are the three shoes we've really seen over the last year, six months, but we've got two new shoes in front of us. Yeah. Starting on up, we got the Saucony Sinister. Is this a shoe that you've heard of? Uh, this is, I've never heard of this shoe before. So for me, this is like a first time take. I'm looking at it for the first time and I'm just trying to understand and wrap my head around it. So what we have in front of us is gonna be 
full-length Power Run PB. So it's the mm -hmm. same foam you see in the Endorphin Pro 3, really responsive. It's fairly soft, bouncy, and then there's no plate in this shoe. So you're gonna get a very flexible design. I took this with a workout with Jared Ward, and he kept talking about it feeling very much like a beefed up type A. It's gonna be a shoe that he might use for workout day, maybe some shorter distance races, really a very lightweight shoe with a good amount of cushioning. Mm -hmm. When we look back not that long ago, a sub five ounce shoe had nothing underfoot. Here, we got a lot of cushioning. Yeah, I'm, you know, I, I have a first look at this shoe and I can, I can see that a sock and he's really achieved that lightweight feel that I think we're always looking for in a 5K, 10K shoe. It's got full rubber outsole coverage, which will be really nice for cornering. Um, I, I don't know what the fit is gonna be like. It looks like it's kind of like the sock-like fit from a Saucony. I'm, I'm a little concerned about the wrinkling here up top, and I don't know if that's gonna cause any issues in the heel, but if it's still got that speed roll technology, I'm not sure if it does or what the deal is there, but I know this foam and I know it's really, really nice underfoot, so I'm hoping that it translates well from the Pro 3 uh, to the 5K, 10K version as well. Yeah. And the final shoe we gotta talk about today is gonna be the newest Hoka racer, the Hoka mm -hmm. Cielo RD. Now, we saw Hoka come in hot this year with the new Rocket X2, really bringing that Piba-based foam, that foam we've been asking for for mm -hmm. a long time into a marathon racer. Now we've got something a little bit sleeker, a little bit closer to the ground. The same Piba-based foam, no plate inside, super stripped down upper, really taking some of the concepts we saw here in the Sinister, but uh, Hoka's take at it. Yeah, so this is a really exciting shoe from Hoka, 5K, 10K shoe that's gonna try and compete with all these other brands that we have in front of us. I'm really excited to see what they have in store. I haven't been able to try this one on just yet, but it's a really simplified version of their super shoe that they're coming out with. So I'm just really excited to see what they have in store here. So there you have it. That was an exclusive look at all the latest and greatest low profile super shoes. There's so many great options currently on the market. Nike, New Balance and Adidas really came in hot early, but now we've got some great options from Saucony and Hoka. Really every brand is pushing in this sector and it's an exciting time to be in the racing space. If you're looking to get any of these shoes on your feet, you can find them at runningwarehouse.com.